all right welcome back to another interesting video on advanced laravel and view series and in this video we'll be doing one interesting thing so first of all take a close look over here on this reload icon currently i'm on dashboard page now if i switch to appointments then this is not loading anymore right which is perfect i can switch to users settings profile without reloading the page then now if i click on logout then we have full page reload right again if i click on sign in then we have the full page reload so what if we make this login and logout functionality works without refreshing the page anymore that will be great right and this seems like a small change but this small change will also make a difference it will make our app much more smoother and faster and finally we'll be able to make this application full fledged single page application and few of the viewers have already asked this question so how we can do this so this video will provide the solution so in this video i will show you how we can do this step by step so make sure to watch this video till the end so now let's start coding okay so first of all let me go to login page we have this login page now let me open up the code editor and let me go to fortify service provider and for the login view we were using login.blade.php file which is inside of auth so instead of using this let's use our main layout which is admin.layouts.app now if i refresh this page then that is gone let me open up the console and here we have the warning and it is saying fail to mount app mount target selector login return null so to fix this let me go to app.js and here we have this code so let me comment this for now and let's just use app.mount and we want to mount to the element with the id of app now let me go to the browser and we see this right and if i click on sign in we are reloading the page so let's fix that for now let me click on logout let me go to login.view file and here after submitting the post request to this login path we are reloading the page right so instead of using this we can use router so let's do that router dot push and i want to push this to admin slash dashboard and we can remove this line and make sure to import router from view router import use router from view router and let's define that router okay so now let me try this let me click on sign in then over here we are not refreshing the page anymore right which is great but if I click on logout, we have the broken design over here, right? So in this space, we don't need the sidebar, the snapbar, and footer. Also, this uh, sidebar, right? So to remove everything, let's use the conditional. So let me go to app.view file. And over here, we have this div. And let's add conditional over here. So let's add v if. And let's use the store that we have created previously. Let's use auth user store dot user dot name is not equals to empty let me fix this and here we are adding the conditional that if the authenticated user store dot user dot name is not equals to empty meaning that if we are logged in then show this otherwise we'll show the login page v else here we'll display the login page using router view so let me add that and if I go to this auth user store, currently we have kept the name statically. So let me go to that store and we have zone over here. So let me remove that. And if I refresh it now, then everything got removed, but we have this alignment issue. So to fix this, let me go over login.blade.php file. And over here, we have this class for this login page. So make sure to add that class. So let me go to app.view file. Let's add the class over here, login page and this got fixed right which is perfect now if i click on sign in then we are not reloading the page anymore but we have the broken design on our dashboard right and here we are getting this error because this conditional is not working properly actually we do not have name on our state called user so after login let's add the name so let me go to login.view file and after successful login over here let's do auth user store dot user dot name equals test for now let's just do this but we'll change this later and make sure to define this so first of all let's import use auth user store and let's define that and call that function 
now let me refresh it log out and now if i click on sign in then we are back to the dashboard page without refreshing the page anymore right and this is a temporary fix so let's fix logout as well if i click on logout then we are refreshing the page so let's fix that as well let me go to sidebar left and over here we have the logout code and here we are reloading the page instead of doing this let's use router post and then log out login and let's remove this and make sure to import use router import use router from view router and let's refine router calling that function use router let me click on sign in we are logged in successfully without refreshing the page and now if i click on log out we are logged out but we still see this sidebar navigation and footer right because we forgot to clear the state so let's clear this state by log out so over here let's do auth user store dot user dot name equals empty string for now let's just use name and we have already imported that and define that as well let me try this again let me refresh it we have this login page click on sign in we are on dashboard now if i click on log out we are on login page without refreshing the page anymore which is perfect but there are a few issues that we need to fix let me click on sign in and after we are logged in we have this broken design right we don't see the image we don't see the name we don't see the application name as well so we need to fix that so that this design will also get fixed so to do that let me go to app.js file and let me go to the router section over here after router let's do router dot before each route we can pass two arguments to and from and if i do alert let's say hi now if i visit any of the route first of all it will show this alert message so let me show you that now i am an admin slash dashboard which is it alert if i click on logout then we will see that alert as well and we are on login if i click on sign in we see that alert meaning that we are calling this every time we are hitting different routes right so over here we can put the conditional so first of all let's import use auth user store and from here and inside this let's do auth user store equals use auth user store now we have auth user store available so let's add conditional let's say if the auth user store dot user dot name is empty if the username is empty and and let's say two dot name is not equals to admin dot login so here we are saying that if our authenticated user store dot user dot name is currently empty and the route that we are going to visit is not admin login meaning that if it is not the login page then let's call get auth user actions uh, in our auth user state so let's do that auth user store dot get auth user so we have defined this actions over here uh, which will provide us the profile information for the authenticated user and after we get that information we are storing that in our state right let me go back and let me describe this again so here before visiting every route we are putting the conditional and the conditional is if the authenticated user name is currently empty and the route that we are going to visit is not the login page then let's call the action called get auth user which will call this action over here and it will hit this endpoint and it will fill this user state over here meaning that we'll have access to name email role and avatar so let me come back let me try this if i click on sign in let me open up the console and if i go to the view tab and over here on the spinia tab we have the test name right so it is not calling that method so this this method is not being called because we already have the username so let's remove that from our login.view file we have manually set over here so let's remove that line and now let me try this again let me click on logout let me sign in and we are logged in now and we see this picture as well as this name right which is great but still we have this sidebar broken 
and this is broken because we don't have anything for these app name so if we have app name then it will get fixed automatically so let's do that so let's define the state for the settings as well so let me go to auth user store and over here let me create another file called setting store.js and let's define the store and let's call define store from pinia and we need to pass the key and for key setting store and as a second argument let's pass the function and inside this let's define the state called setting let's make this as reactive and we need app name right and make sure to import this and finally let's return that and also let's create the actions call get setting and we have that inside of app dot view so let me copy that and initial settings start value let's do setting dot value to response data and let's return this as well get setting and finally let's export this so that we can import it export const use setting store now let me go to app.js file and over here first of all let's import that import use setting store and inside this let's define setting store equals use setting store and then setting store dot gate setting and we are calling that actions on that store so that we'll have that app name available right now let me try this we see this all out twice so let's fix that as well if i go to app dot view file we are fetching the settings so we don't need this anymore we are fetching the user we don't need this anymore we don't need unmounted as well and let's remove this as well and then settings from here as well and this looks good so let me go to sidebar left we don't need these props as well and we'll use the global state in a state of settings app name we'll do setting store dot app name let's import that import use setting store from stores setting store let's define that as well setting store equals use setting store and let's use this but we have this design still broken because of this app name so let me go over here so initial setting store dot app name we need to do setting store setting dot app name and now we have the app name and our design is also fixed and if i refresh the page we have these two alerts so let's remove those alert let me go to auth user store and let's remove this alert and we are calling this get auth user twice so if i go to app dot view then we are calling it from here as well so let's remove this line now if i refresh it then everything is fixed i can go to different pages i can click on logout and we are logged out without refreshing the page anymore now if i click on sign in then we are signed in without refreshing the page anymore see how cool this is this is looking much more smoother and faster right and finally our application is now a full fledged single page application right so if i click on logout we are not refreshing the page anymore i can sign in without refreshing the page i can switch to different pages i can filter it right i can go to profile save changes and without refreshing the page so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you so make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one